Hello, I'm Helen Wright and I'm here at the Conexpo show. I'm on the Vertkin stand and I met up with Evan Clark, Vice President of Kleeman. I started by asking Evan about the new equipment uh, launched on the North American market and the history behind Kleeman. Kleeman is a company which was established in Stuttgart, Germany over 150 years ago. Uh, the company again is one of the leaders in the world market with regards to crushing and screening technologies. Um, up until 2006, the company never really had any input into the North American market. It was purely focused on the European market and some other countries like the UAE and then South Africa, certain countries. Um, when we were purchased uh, by the Wortkin Group in 2006, the company took the time and the acquisition to move the, the, the overall company into North America and sort of merge it with the rest of the products um, in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, Kleeman manufactures a broad range of impactors, a broad range of, of jaw crushers. We make a broad range of primary, secondary and tertiary crushers right across the board. We cater both for the contractor market and we also cater for the quarry market. Um, and again, the, 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 the line we try to establish is the quality product with lots of key features um, that make our product stand out from the rest of the competition. Can you take us through some of the new machinery on the stand at Conexpo? Yes, um, today we have here the MR110 EVO. Um, when we designed the EVO, the EVO was new technology um, and EVO stands for evolution. And we've been designing impact crushers for many years and the idea was to start from fresh, not to take a product that was there before and make some small changes and call it a new machine. The idea was to start with a complete clean sheet and start the technology and development of the crusher um, from scratch. So on this machine, the MR110 EVO, we have one of the key features which Kleeman is well known for and again is one of the first manufacturers to really implement this on, a, on tracked crushers. Uh, we, we actually have an independent pre-screen which is prior to the crusher. Now the reason we have this independent pre-screen is to eliminate fines going into the crusher. It we, works on elliptical motion um, compared to linear motion which is standard on most crushers to remove the fines um, and also allows us to scalp and, sc and screen a product prior to the crusher. By doing this it helps eliminate wear in the crusher because we're removing the fines and also helps with the fuel cost of the machine by not putting um, this, all this material into the crusher. But the key as well is the fact that uh, we can increase productivity to the overall process on the machine because we can remove this product or bypass the product before the crusher. Then we have the technology in the crusher itself. It's a Kleeman manufactured crusher. We have two impact aprons inside the crusher. The first apron, the upper apron, is nitrogen charged. This allows for anything that shouldn't be crushed um, to pass through and this will lift and come back into position again. Um, and it's fully hydraulic adjustable. Again, no wrenches are, are, are required to adjust this apron. But the lower apron is uh, com controlled by a PLC system. We basically dial in the number the, the, of the closed side setting of this lower apron and this crusher will automatically zero itself like a cone crusher will do and then set itself um, to the dimension you put in. Underneath the crusher there is a, pre there's a feeder below the crusher. This feeder is designed to take any impact from rebar or any other products going through the crusher that shouldn't go through it can damage conveyor belts. Again it's a very strong feature. Kleeman have been introducing in their products for many years. And then we move on to the, the, the final screen. We have a large screening surface area which has been increased on more so than on previous models. The screen deck in this machine here is 14 foot 9 by 4 foot 5 wide. Um, so we have a large screening surface and then we have a full return conveyor which stays on board the machine in transport mode but can also radial out to 110 degrees to either return the material back to the crusher or to discharge it to the floor. So can users expect higher overall tonnage with these new models? Yes, certainly. The independent pre-screen, as I said earlier, will allow you, in most cases, when there's enough fine material in the feed, to increase your productivity through the machine by at least 20%. Crushing is all about horsepower. This machine has a CAT C11 engine on board. It has got a lot of capacity, a lot of power being delivered to the actual crusher itself. 
Um, so yeah, without doubt, um, this machine with the size of the screen area we have, we have included on it, the final screen that we've had to increase to cope with this um, extra production will certainly produce up to approximately 350 tonnes per hour. And what are your expectations for the North American market in the medium term? Well, we're seeing a great change in the market. Last year and the year before was slow as most companies had the, the time to recoup and look at what was going on with the economy. Um, for us, we came in, we're a strong private company. We put resources behind our organisation. Uh, we brought products in, we brought people in. Uh, the, without doubt, we're, we're expecting 25-30% growth within the North American market. Um, you're already seeing a trend and a change. This year alone, um, the growth rate in the first two months the first has, has been more than what we've ever seen in the last couple of years. And without doubt, um, we see great expectation for the tracked market. Looking at the statistics in the US market, Without doubt, there's always been a wheeled market um, and the tracked market now is at least 45-46% of what's being sold into the US market. Well, Evan, thank you very much for your time. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you very much.